Hello everybody, praise be to God, and welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. We're gonna start the episode by getting an email! Oh boy, we gotta drop everything and check it. Papatch, oi you. Oi Mario, how's your stash? Life on the island feels great. When the sun rises, I wakey wakey, and then it sets, I tuck in for snoozer time. Perfect for a simple bloke like me, right? Every now and then, that cretin Flavio spits out at some bit of drivel about treading water instead of season life, but I just tune him out. So, you off on another adventure? I think that suits you best. Give him hooligans what you have and save for your princess. From Papatch. Hi. Alright, well, <laughs> it's the last day of the train voyage. Let's say hi to everybody. Oh, fat guy is not in his cabin. Okay. He's probably off eating breakfast. There's no music. This is a little weird. Toodles is gone too? But she never leaves her cabin. Like, ever. And obviously, Zip Toad's not there. Weren't. What items do I have? Oh, I've got a pretty good amount. Okay. Hey, dude. Huh, good morning, sir. It's quite quiet this morning, wouldn't you say? It's almost like someone turned off the background music. Hmm? Is there something on the windshield? These fiends again! Yeah! What are these fiends? Ew! Aren't those the fiends from the station yesterday? They must have stowed away! What should I do? First, we have to ensure the passenger safety! But I have to keep driving the train! Mario, can you check on the passengers? Sure, Fane. Ugh, these things are so gross. Well, hmm. Nobody's in their cabins, that's the problem. <laughs> I'm sure they're all fine. No need to worry. We'll just go in here, everybody's gonna be eating breakfast. Like, oh, this is kinda weird. Or not. Waitress isn't here. The chef isn't here. Uh, this guy is? Okay. Well, we're open. Hey, dude. Hi. Um, there were a lot of black feeds everywhere. Did you save me? Wow. How goes it, traveler? Welcome to the sales stall. We have lots of souvenirs. What can I do for you? Um... Is there anything I would really want for this fight? I, the Shroom Roast could be useful. Zest Cookie could be useful. Hell Cape. Alright, that's good. I just wanted to make sure I was well stocked. Because this upcoming boss fight, we're about to fight the boss, it's pretty tough. Well, definitely one of the tougher fights in the game. Oh hey, even the uh, even the conductor's not here. Okay. Smark, 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 smark. Oh my gosh, they're totally inside the train now. Let's take them out. Habonk, 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 habonk. Yeek! Oh, they have the poor conductor. How horrible! Please save him. Get off of him! Yeah! Ah, Detective Mario, you saved us again. Hey, I must have been taken by those black fiends while I was sleeping. Scary. They seem to have come into the baggage car through that open window. And they still have many of our paying passengers. Oh, those poor souls! Never fear. I'll save them. Luckily for me, I got the Ultra Boots in the Riverside Station. So this is pretty cool. We're on the top of the train now. Alright, back off. So they're trying to push me back, just... Keep hammering away at them, and you'll be fine. Get 
Get off of this train. Swark! What is that, Gross Fiend? No! Mario, look! It's got the other passengers! Help! Ah! Yeah, this is a weird boss. Smorg! Well, we had to have a boss of some kind, didn't we? Can't flee this fight. Meet the boss, Smorg. So are we can attack the Miasmas or just Smorg here. I'm gonna attack Smorg. Oh, never mind, I'm not. Don't attack Smorg unless you've taken out the Miasmas, I guess. Let's tattle. That's a Smorg! Lots of Smorgs gathered together to create this huge monster. Max HP is 50, attack is 5, and defense is 1. It attacks with weird tentacles. Defeating the tentacles will drop the body's defense to zero, making it easier to attack. Tentacles will regenerate, but use that time to deal a ton of damage, okay? It may also take other forms of higher attack powers. I don't really know. Let's just hurry and beat this thing down so we can save those trapped passengers. See, so yeah, each of the miasmas can attack. And I'm not sure, but I think the one with the fat toad actually deals one more damage because it's, it's heavier. Never mind. Alright. Hey. How dare you throw rocks at me? I did those action commands perfectly. So, just the best thing to do for this fight is Fiery Jinx with Vivian. If you don't have Fiery Jinx with Vivian, God help you. So that forms together, and now we can... Attack it. We deal a lot of damage because we have the Ultra Jump. Oh! Repel Cape! Thank you so much. I actually have a lot of those, don't I? Well, I'll use a Repel Cape on Mario. This means I'll occasionally dodge attacks. Now, now the Miasmas come back. So this fin deals so much damage just because it has so many things that can attack. Vivian really is a godsend for this battle. Fiery Jinx, please. This is why I wanted some FP replenishing items in my inventory. And HP replenishing, because he's dealt a ton of damage to me. Let's do, uh, let's try Spring Jump. This is really hard to get the timing down. But if you can, it's really good. Wow. Oh, oh my gosh! He's almost about to die! <laughs> Holy cow, he has 8 HP left. Okay, now he really means business, because instead of the Miasmas now, he's getting the Smorg Claw. Which is incredibly powerful, as you're about to see. That damage is 10 to both of us. Every time he does that. And wow, so much for the repel key. Goodbye, Smorg Claw. Alright, wow. Ultra Jump just carried me to victory. I mean, granted, I also have a Power Plus badge equipped with the Ultra Boots, so that deals <laughs> a lot of damage. But holy cow! Goodbye, Smorg. I didn't need, like, any of those items. Ooh! And a level up! Lovely. S'more gave you a level up, so please use it well! Hmm. I need more FP. I use a lot of it. S'more, s'more, s'more! So I still don't 
That, that that's never explained what those fiends are, why they did it, or how they stick together. That they just needed a boss. Thank you, boy. It's like all you did these for free days was save us. How can we ever thank you? Everyone's safe now. It's all thanks to you. Oh, thank you much. You saved my life. No, stupid tut of mine, you saved my life. So, you all know, this dashing fellow has been the famous Luigi all along. We will soon arrive at Pashley Heights. Ladies and gentlemen, please prepare to disembark. And that's why I wanted to give people back their stuff. Before day three, because now we don't have the chance. Welcome to Pashley Heights. It's about time you got here. Bing bong, bing bong! Attention all passengers, now arriving at Poshley Heights. Please watch your step and be sure to take all of your belongings with you. And thank you for choosing the XSS Express. Man, I feel like I'm in Disney World. We're finally here, Mario! There's no time to waste, so let's find Poshley Sanctum like the professor said. Vivian, you kicked butt in that last battle. Fiery Jinx can just instantly take out all of the miasmas, which is really nice. It can't instantly take out the Smork Claw, but Mario's jumping can if you have Power Plus. Ladies and gentlemen, Mario has arrived in Poshley Heights. No applause, no applause, just for money. So this place is beautiful. The business people I'm waiting for haven't arrived yet, so I'm sightseeing. On the expense account, of course, <laughs> and as if you have to ask by now. Well, star piece right there. Oh, this is the bob -omb residence. Hey, mister, I'm gonna get a train set! The coolest one ever invented! I could just have them buy me a real train, but maybe I'll save that for the next year. We'd dearly like to find a suitable present for little bub. You wouldn't happen to have a train set for sale, would you? A gold one, perhaps? Um, no, Uncle Pennybags. I'm sorry. So if we go in here, you can see the wall is a little weird looking here. We can actually paperize and get back here to get the HP Drain P badge. Drops your allies attack by one, but regain one HP per attack. That was the last badge in the entire game that I found. Because Miss Mouse kept sniffing like, it's right here. I'm like, how do I get back there? Yeah, it was dumb. And we get a star piece for that. Also... Yes, they have a Piranha Chomp in their swimming pool. What is that doing there? This place is so lavish and lush. Hello, Toodles. Welcome, you marvelous man. The train journey certainly was thrilling, hmm? That, yeah, that's... I guess. It was at the end. So Toodles has quite the swanky place. Still a bit small, though. And we can actually go for this crack to go in the hedge, go up, and find another star piece. There are star pieces everywhere here. I just realized, I think I have way too many. Yeah. If we go back here, we get another star piece. Yes, this is the Penguin Town. So, lovely house, eh? Yeah, sure, take all of your time and soak in all of its majesty. I built it with even the smallest details in mind, making every nook special. Not only the interior, but the facade as well. Yeah, look around outside, too. I guess it's sort of fun to live here. But I can't eat snow cones, or make little snowmen, or go ice skating, or any of the stuff I did in Shiver City, eh? I don't know what you got till it's gone. He moved here from Shiver City! That's a great continuity nod. Also, these guys totally have Canadian accents, but I can't do Canadian accents. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I'm Canadian, eh? There's an inn coupon back there. A free pass lets you stay one free night at an inn. I've heard Poshley Heights was a quiet place, but there are lots of tourists, eh? Maybe I should just open up a store selling Shiver City souvenirs? Yeah, maybe so. Oh, hey, it's the Toad Sisters. We are the Wandering Girls, the Traveling Sisters Free. We're staying in that luxury hotel. Pasha Heights sure is a place for the rich and famous, huh? 
We're thinking of going to see the Pashui Sanctum next. I, I don't think there's actually a shop here. This is the closest thing we have. So, hmm. I was hoping to, um, hmm. Thought we'd use more items in that battle. Guess not. Welcome to you! How would you like to buy some high-quality fresh pasta as a Poshly souvenir? One package costs 50 coins! Forget the dried pasta that costs 3 coins. That was the same thing. No, this is 50. But we need it for recipes. We get fresh pasta. Poshly Heights Pasta replenishes 10 HP and 5 FP. Okay, that by itself is a lot better than the dried pasta, but still. Unfort I was hoping we could buy 4 of them, but that's not going to happen because we have no place we can store our stuff. That hotel is incredibly expensive, and they give you an omelet meal if you stay there. I will not be staying there. May not look like it, but I get pretty stressed out. Like, really bad, eh? But walking barefoot on the grass like this makes me feel much better, you betcha. Care to join me, guy? Well, I can't take off my boots. People ask me if I get tired of walking the same route every day. And I say, no way, Jose, because it's a bit different every day, you know? I'm not the same as I was yesterday. Neither are you. Even the town changes. And you'll never see another day just like today, so treat it each day like it is. Unique. Amen. Also, yes, there's a tr uh, piranha inside the fountain if you jump in it. Hey there, Boshley Heights is sure nice and warm, eh? Yeah, I really dig it here. Cold places make me sneeze. Boshley Sanctum is a rather famous building, eh? And the painting inside isn't the only gorgeous thing. So is the building. I could just stare at it all day, you betcha. Shine sprite here. But there's no invisible block down there. Instead, we can just spring jump into it. Alright, Poshu Sanctum time. Gone traveling, Sanctum manager. No way! This is super weak! What do we do? Ah, it is my dear Luigi. What are you doing at my doorstep, young fellow? What? You live here? So you're the Sanctum Manager? I totally thought you were a detective. Well, yes. That is more like a hobby of mine, if the truth must be told. But enough chatter, hmm? Shall we go inside? That worked out. But enough chatter, hmm? Shall we go inside? Oh boy. <laughs> You're one step too late! We have the Crystal Star! Hey! Don't leave without me! <laughs> Poor Dupless. <laughs> Oh no! We're too late! We gotta go after them! Just a second there, Luigi. Exactly what is going on here? Speak quickly. Uh -huh. Hmm, yes, quite rudimentary. So you were looking for the crystal star in this sanctum. <laughs> yes, very interesting. Well, no cause for worry. The crystal star is safe. Yes, quite safe indeed. The stone that our rude fiend friends stole was, fortunately, a red herring! A fake! The real one is hidden somewhere in this sanctum to prevent such a theft. However, as to the location of the real crystal star... Well, the sanctum manager, I am, of course, prohibited from telling anyone. However, I do know where it is. Of that you can be most certain, yes indeed. Besides, I am sure a junior detective like yourself could find it on your own. Now, Luigi, put to use all of the razor sharp sleuthing skills I have taught you. Make me proud. So this is also kind of like a mini dungeon. It's only two rooms. And they're huge. The crystal star is no longer on the pedestal. Nice painting in the back, though. <laughs> nice windows, too. So fortunately, this little tile gives you a perfect marker to know exactly where to spring jump. If we go back here... Oh, never mind. We can't go back there. Oh, love the ceiling drapes as well. This place is magnificent. Why can't all art museums be this awesome? Oh, 
I just want to say thank you to Nintendo for putting in these special red star tiles. Because finding out exactly where to jump to grab on these poles would be so annoying without them. Also, we can't climb over the drapes, so we have to go back here. Man, it sure is lucky that we happened to find those boots in the Riverside Station, huh? Otherwise, we would never be able to get the Crystal Star. Alright, airplane panel here. Hope you're pretty good at flying. And here's a switch. I wonder what it, what it does. Hmm. This, for me, to me, is really cool. You go in the warp pipe. You're in the painting in the background. And this is the real Poshly Sanctum that you go in. The painting is the real one. And, yep. Got different types of booze here. Oh, sweet, Mario can take him out real quickly. These are dark boos. That's a dark boo. Purple just looks so wrong. These boos are so creepy. Max HP is 8, attack is 5, and defense is 0. Its HP and attack are high, but they're just like ordinary boos otherwise. So just attack it like a normal boo. Get it before it turns invisible. I am so glad I equipped that power plus badge. Power Plus is really, really good, and well worth the 6 BP it costs. Triple Boos, okay. Alright, let's use Repel Cape. I gotta free up some item space. Oh, bother. Thank goodness that only lasts for one turn. What other items could I use? Uh, mushroom. Yeah. <laughs> I have really no need for mushrooms anymore. So if you want, you can just go around and hunt these dark boos down. It gives you decent star points. And of course, money. Alright, well that's all the dark boos. If you are wondering if there is a dark atomic boo, there is not. Also, before we get that crystal star, there's a very, very, very special badge hidden at the top of this sanctum. It takes a while to get, but trust me, it is well worth it. So basically, we're just going to do the same thing we did in the previous room. There's also a Shine Sprite up here. Very nice, that. Let's just crawl backwards on the pipe. We get the L emblem! Changes Mario's clothes into Luigi's clothes. Yep. It also takes zero BP to equip. It also takes a while to equip. But now we're Luigi! It's... <laughs> Yahoo! And let's get the Crystal Star. You got a crystal star, and you learned the special move, Showstopper. Showstopper is such a good special. End of chapter! Mario found the sixth crystal star hidden craftily in the Poshly Heights Sanctum. Now only one crystal star remains, but our hero still does not know where Princess Peach is being held. Where could the last crystal star be, and where is Princess Peach being held? 
hoping this crystal star might yield answers. Mario and his friends return to Pennington. Yes, I'm saving the game all the way up to that point. Oh, that's not the end, I guess. He's gonna come out and be like, I knew you were Luigi! You were wearing, we're just wearing the wrong clothes! <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> Here we go! Hmm, so that is where it was. Oh, nothing, nothing. Just talking to my brain. All geniuses do it. Congratulations, Luigi. You have found the real crystal star. So please, feel free to take it. I will just put another fake over here. <laughs> well, traveling with you has been rather hectic, but I do admit, rather fun as well. I am sure you still have a long road ahead, Luigi, but do not give up. Thanks! <laughs> you can just make a fake crystal star that easily. Yeah, Showstopper, you remember up and away from the first Paper Mario where it just got rid of all the enemies on stage? It does that, except it only takes two star powers instead of, like, your entire meter. And you still get the star points for doing that! It's so good! It has a lower chance of working than that, but it works most of the time. What is the matter with you idiots? Falling for a fake crystal star? That's asinine! Sorry, dude. I mean, sir. So let me guess. This means Mario managed to get the real crystal star. Uh, I'm gonna say... Maybe? Ugh! This mustached menace has nearly every crystal star now! They were mine! I think I'd better alter my plan a bit. Before you do, Sir Grotus, I think I'd better tell you something. What is it, fool? Mumble mumble. What? Are you sure? Speak. No joke, dude. I mean, affirmative, Sir Dude. That is, a positive, Sir. <sighs> Oh yeah. This is not gonna be good, is it? Strange, isn't it about time for TEC to call me in? Maybe he's busy. Oh, was Peach, I think that smile's gonna be wiped off your face pretty soon. Oh, here we go. Yep, just as I thought. <laughs> Peach looked uncharacteristically happy considering she's been kidnapped. Oh hey, we actually get to walk over here this time. Hello, TEC. What do you want today? Princess Peach, I have... I have reached a conclusion. A conclusion? I have struggled with whether to obey orders or to speak with you. And I cannot confirm what I should believe. TEC, you don't sound right. What's going on with you? Princess Peach, please escape from this place as quickly as possible. Escape? TEC, what do you mean by that? I mean, why all of a sudden? The data you procured has been analyzed and something terrible is... No, I will not say it, but I have found out everything about Sir Grotus's plans. Grotus's plans? You mean about conquering the world? Yes, and among these plans was the reason why you are being held here. According to the data... No. No way. It's impossible. I don't believe it. Yes, everything is true. That is why you must escape from here as fast as possible. But how can I do that, TEC? I mean, I don't even have the slightest idea where I am! I will not hide anything anymore. No, not from you. I will tell you everything. The place where you are currently imprisoned, this is the moon. The moon?! You mean, the moon that hangs up in the sky at night? That moon? That is correct. But that's unbelievable! How in the world am I supposed to escape? There is a way. You can escape, but you must follow my instructions exactly. But TC, won't they know that you helped me? Won't you get in trouble? That is inconsequential. I would like you to be safe. That is all that matters. TEC... 
I am the basis computer. No one will know of your escape if I keep silent. Please do not worry about me. Escape. Escape as quickly as possible. Okay, TEC. But I must inform Mario about all of this before I go. This is no longer just my problem. Understood. Hold it right there, Princess Peach. Yeek! You! TC, you miserable machine. We all know what you're up to, traitor. Sir Grotus, I... In my most paranoid moments, I never thought my own computer would betray me. Well, it doesn't really matter in the end, I suppose. Especially since it ends here. You monster! What are you planning to do with him? <laughs> Only one thing to do with a malfunctioning computer. Cut the circuit and delete all the programs and data that caused the malfunction. Obviously, all data relating to Princess Peach must go as well. Yes, we must be absolutely sure that nothing like this ever happens again. No, I am. I am normal. There is no malfunction. Pipe down, TEC. x knots at the same time, press the red buttons on TEC's sides. Got it, sir. TEC, no! Mail sent. Princess Peach, I... Nice Morse code. <laughs> Deletion complete. Too bad, Princess Peach. TEC is no longer with us. No! You inhuman beast! How could you? Princess Peach, just stop it. This is no time to be worrying about a computer. We have some very important things for you to do now. Yes, very important. No! Yuck, 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 yuck. Well, if you didn't think Grotus was evil <laughs> before now, you'd definitely think he is now. <laughs> and that's the last Peach part. Time for the last... Well... Not the last Bowser part. <laughs> Fjolk, save me! Ah! <sighs> I've got no crystal stars. I can't find Princess Peach. Twilight Town was... Well, it wasn't exactly glorious. What's going on here? If this keeps up, Mario's gonna steal everything from my grasp, as usual! Your massiveness! Check out that big treasure chest. We did it! The Magic Koopa Scouts found a suspicious underground chamber! It isn't even on any maps! Yeah, really suspicious! Something must be there! Humph! About time! Well done! This is where it all turns around for me! Definitely! The Hammer Bros Battalion is attempting to breach the chamber at the moment. The area is impenetrable. There's scrapping tooth and nail in there. No problem. Direct me there. I'll blast this through. I'm Bowser, baby. Yes, you know what time it is, folks. It's time for Luigi. Hey, where did everybody go? <laughs> <laughs> Not what I was saying. It's time. For Super Bowser Bros. Free, ready to roll. So this one's actually kind of tough, and I don't think I've actually shown off what happens when you die. <laughs> Hilarious. Let me at him. <laughs> We've got the castle theme. Oh! <laughs> yeah, this one's actually pretty tricky. Inconceivable! Oh, the references. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> you can shrink even more? <laughs> I didn't know that! I'm on fire! Literally, Bowser. 
<laughs> what else does he say if he dies? I have infinite lives, so... I'm hungry! <laughs> Seriously, why aren't they making a Super Bowser Bros. game? This would be amazing. NEXT TIME! <laughs> this is World Free 6, apparently? Ain't over yet! <laughs> that sound never gets old. CHARGE! There's one really funny thing he says, eventually. Not really funny, but really random. Bowser, are you fall in lava all the time. Good to go! Toot toot chugga chugga big red car. Relax! <laughs> I'll show you! Chaos Control! I'm tired. <laughs> Your wretchedness, you really suck at this. Shut up! Still in it? <laughs> Rampage time! This is the last Super Bowser Bros in the game, so I want to see everything. World free for Tina changes? Eh, okay. Oh, it counts up every time you die. I never noticed that. That's great. Go time! <laughs> this is level 15 in World Free. Man, I wouldn't want to play that Mario game. Feel it! I'm sleepy. Man, how much stuff does he say? <laughs> Timing, baby! <laughs> no wonder Mario can't defeat Bowser for good. He has infinite lives. Rhythm, baby! <laughs> okay, we've gotta be close. Feeling good! Are you, are you sure, Bowser? <laughs> Nothing could stop me! Ugh. Concentrate! He still hasn't said the thing! <laughs> but he's still saying new stuff every time, which is amazing. <laughs> Your frustration is understandable, Lord Bowser. Too close! Ouch! Last gasp! Break time! He still hasn't said it. At this rate, half my video is just going to be dying in Super Bowser Bros. Here goes! <laughs> World Free 26. <laughs> Once more, with feeling. I'm still okay! They programmed 28 different things for him to say <laughs> in a little minigame that most people won't die on. Never give up! <laughs> Trust your instincts. <laughs> Thank you. That's the motivational speech from the evil King Bowser. Gotta do it!
Gotta do it. Okay. I thought for sure if you died enough, he would be like, Fiesta! Maybe not. Alright, I'm actually gonna try to beat it this time. <laughs> Take this, x knots What are you even doing in here? Gotta be careful at this part. Oh, it's an x knot PhD. Oh, come on! That ham always falls. It's really quite annoying. Oh, you can ground pound? I actually never knew that. Boing! That was my only chance to eat the invincible ham. Oh, how dare you, you stupid idiot. <laughs> Finish! <laughs> At last. Oh, what's this? <laughs> Incredible, Lord Bowser! Nothing stood in your way! You couldn't be more super! Pummies! No problem! I felt right at home! But where are we now? Nice reference, Bowser. <laughs> Gracious me! Look! Lord Bowser! On the wall behind you! Hello! Could it be? Aw, uh, yeah! Crystal Star! Advantage Bowser! <laughs> At last we found one, and now we'll make it ours! Freeze, chumps! Grrr, who's there? <laughs> don't tell me you don't know the famous Rock Hawk! You little punk weasel! You forgot these muscles? You forgot this hugeness? Don't ask me how, but you cleared my secret training facility! Not too shabby! I even imported some super freaks to up the difficulty level. You're good. <laughs> of course, good don't count for squatting this biz, babe. The My champ's belt is mine. <laughs> oh, look, what an adorable little weakling. Hi, fella. <laughs> Weak? Wait, what? Well, tell me something. You ever see a weakling do this? Pain. Ouch! <laughs> Aw, now you're sleeping! I knew you were a weakling! Whoa! The Crystal Star! Herm? Eek! It's split in two! Oh no 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 no! Wait, hold the phone! My mighty Lord Bowser, this is just glass! It's a flim flam! A fake! Whoa! What? Speak English! You... Ow... Want the real one? The great... Uh, Gonzalez has it! Oh, my aching hair! Feel... The... Rock! I don't know anybody named Gonzalez! Stop speaking in riddles, you chicken nugget! Crud! Who do I have to flatten to get a crystal star? Who? Who? <laughs> oh, that's... that's wonderful. Bowser calling Rockhawk a chicken nugget was the, the crowning jewel, I think. <laughs> Ooh, look at all those trees. This is like the only time we get to see all those. <laughs> and we just skip the train ride home. It's a me, Luigi! <laughs> Never mind the M on my hat. Mario! That sounds like an email from Princess Peach! Mario, I now know where I'm being held. I'm on the moon. Yes, the moon that floats out in space. And I've learned something even more horrifying. In order to resurrect the monster spirit, they need my... The moon?! That's totally nuts! Princess Peach is on the moon?! I mean, that actually sounds pretty cool, but why is her email cut off? Oh my gosh, you don't think something happened to her, do you? Oh boy. Oh boy, it's Ouija! And another email. Yeah, th thank you. So much. Eve, thank you. How are you, Mario? This is Eve from Twilight Town. Remember me? After a lot of soul-searching, I found that I'm truly happy. I may not be able to forget the hard times, or even completely remember them, 
But I've been thinking things over and I believe that my sad past paved the way to my current happiness. Is that deep? Anyway, I can't think about all the stuff all the time. The kids play all day, and then they get hungry and cry and scream, so I'm pretty busy all day, every day. The kids would love to see you again, so please drop by next time you're in the area. Fondly yours, Eve. Aw, that's sweet. Alright, hey, Ouija. Well, guess what I found in Rapturous Ruins, bro? Yep, a marvelous compass piece. This part of my adventure was actually sort of sad, if you want to know the truth. It was pretty insane, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. By the way, how come you're dressed like me? <laughs> hey, sounds good to me. Which part of my story you wanna hear, bro? Rapturous Ruins. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. After journeying deep into the Grimble Forest, I found the domed Rapturous Ruins. Inside, everything was pure white. You couldn't tell where the floor became walls. Proceeding dead ahead, I found myself in a chamber where a young ba boy sat. As I approached the boy, someone named Screamy appeared out of nowhere. Screamy said the boy's name was Cranberry and that he'd wake for a child of fate. That didn't make any sense to me, so I started searching quietly for the compass piece. But then it happened, bro. I got a tiny tickle in my nose and I let out a huge sneeze. Well, Cranberry must have heard it because he opened his eyes right up. He looked at me and smiled, and all of a sudden I could understand his language. Can you believe it? I learned that that boy was the last of an ancient race called the Luffs. He had been there guarding the marvelous compass piece for the last thousand years. He told me that the compass is an item with the power to see into the future. The ancient Luff Empire used the power of the compass to rule much of the world. Because of their greed, they were chased out by the comp they were cursed by the compass, and their empire collapsed. To prevent a repeat of their fate, Cranberry broke the compass into seven parts. He hid six and kept one, putting himself to sleep until a worthy hero woke him. I was that hero, bro! He gave it to me, and then he, he and the ruins vanished. When I added that piece to the compass, it pointed to the far north where the dreaded Hate Song Tower stands. This time I heard Princess Eclair's voice more clearly than ever before. I will rescue the princess, I will be super, and then I'll, I'll, I'll... Well, I'll figure the rest out later. Anyway, I headed back here to Rogueport after that. I'm making my final preparations for my final battle now. I'm a little nervous, bro, but that's what I've been up to anyway. It's fascinating, Luigi. If you want to hear what I've been up to, just come find me. I'm Screamy. I wonder what future is plotted for us by he who holds the compass. For I must deliver something. That's Luigi's pal, Screamy. Screamy creeps me out, but I've never seen anyone like that. Where is he from? Well, that's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We will be discovering the location of the last crystal star and doing some stuff around Rogueport. Hope to see you then. Have a great day and God bless.